The Worcester Bravehearts riding a five-game winning streak into tonight's matchup with the North Shore Navigators. Hanover Insurance Place Park, the place to be. And a great night for baseball, too. Local product, Ryan Ward, just finished up a great career at Millbury, leading the Bravehearts tonight. Top of the second, scoreless game. Greg Stagani getting the strikeout for Worcester. Still in the second, Alex Brickman coming off a great career at Worcester Academy. Hammers one. Over and out. A home run. Solo shot, and the Navigators are up 1-0. Stagani bearing down, and he gets the strikeout. North Shore playing some defense as well. Joey Pena at shortstop. Great stop on the outfield grass, throwing a seed across the diamond, and he gets the out. Strong defense from Pena ending the inning. Top of the third, Mike Cogshell playing some defense at the hot corner. That's a good play for the out. Cogs, the former QB, showing off the footwork. Top of the third, Stagani picking off the runner at first. Still a 1-0 game. Talk four now. Brickman doing it again. Sending one into the night. That was a line shot laser. Got out in a hurry. Played for Jimmy McNamara at Worcester Academy. Going to Siena next year. Solo shot. North Shore gets the win. 4-2, your final tonight. All right, in the Auburn Summer Basketball League, Tantasqua in the black, Abby Kelly in the maroon. Abby Kelly's Amika Egatu with the hoop. Then it's Hemi Asapuku with the steal. He'll take it coast to coast. Up and in, Abby Kelly looking good. Tantasqua's Drew Peretti beyond the arc, sinking a three ball. Adam Phillips, sweet feed to Evan Couture. And the finish down low. Abby Kelly pulling out the range finder. Long shot in the corner, getting the friendly roll. Back to Peretti, no look pass to his friend and teammate. His friends know who he is, his family know who he is. Not listed on the roster. Sean Odenga going up strong. Then Phillips, long range bombing, sticks to three, Tantasqua up one. And another good game in the Auburn Summer League between Tantasqua and Abby Kelly. That's what you get, folks. Worcester Tech in the gray, North Brookfield in the purple. Second half, Worcester Tech's Brandon Hamilton with the putback. Then North Brookfield's DJ Golly. Call him Big Country. Strong take. More from Worcester Tech. AJ Tui going off the window for two. Tech continuing. Victor Florentino with the steal. Florentino taking it himself. Nifty handle and control. Golly coming back. And the DJ filling it up. Ian Mowelgo, the drive and dish to Florentino. Florentino popcorn underneath for two. Tech with the defense. Brandon Hamilton, SWAT. Human eraser. Taking control of things in the paint. Tech's Josh Valero with the three. And Worcester Tech gets the win. 43 to 18 is your final. Well, Kendrick Ball Jr. made quite a statement in the ring in his first professional fight, knocking out his opponent in the first round. He is climbing back into the ring at Twin River Casino on July the 15th and looking to continue that momentum. He's coming off his first win, which was a first round devastating knockout. Um, he fractured his thumb in the fight. Um, it healed well. He's back in the gym, back training, and um, he's ready to go for this next fight. We don't know who our opponent is yet, but hopefully the next day or two we'll know and um, do what we got to do when the time comes. I'm really excited um, to get the, got the first one out the way. I'm ready for the second to show everybody what I can do and how hard I train. All right, so Kendrick Ball Jr. will fight again on July 15th at the Twin River Casino. And like his dad said, uh, his trainer, they'll find out their opponent in the next couple days, but it doesn't matter. doesn't yeah. matter. They'll take on any opponent, and it's all about him dictating the fight. Another left hook Friday from Kendrick yep. Getright. They're maybe. working on it. They're working Another on left it down hook there. Friday. Rashad Miner's giving him tips on interviewing and the left hook as well. All right, Kevin, thank you very much. Appreciate it. We'll look forward to that fight. And we thank you for joining us tonight here on Worcester News Tonight. For Kevin Shea, I'm Andy Lacombe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 6.